<laughs> oh, it costs like this. Uh, wanted to give you guys an update on so many things. I'm going to try to remember them all because I'm super tired. So if there's something you're curious about and I'll leave it out. I guess you will leave it in the comment section. I will get to it in the next one. Uh, in regards to my daughter, Michael Strahan, she's, she's on one lately. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure the poor girl's trying to give her mom a stroke. Uh, while I say this is because <laughs> literally just a couple minutes ago I'm talking to her. Or I'm texting her. Talking about uh, all kinds of shit that's happened this week. And um, she goes, <laughs> did you hear about Coolio? And I'm like, how in the absolute fuck do you even know who that is? <laughs> and of course, me being the old bitch I am, not watching TV and having cable anymore, didn't have a clue. And then, of course, usually when someone says, did you hear, <laughs> it implies one of two things. They won the lottery or they died. <laughs> Or they're getting married, divorced, or had a baby. But naturally, my brain goes, they, if it's a celebrity, I go, they died. It instantly, that's where my brain goes. So, next thing that's on the agenda of things to talk to you about is my fucking notebook is missing. That's going to have to be a whole video by itself. Which notebook? The National Park green book that I've had with so much fucking data in it. So many fucking uh, personal pieces of information also written inside that book. Um, so while most people would be like, Emma, don't you think it's a stretch that someone stole your notebook? Not when it comes to Emma. Nope. That's almost exactly what probably... I'm almost certain that's what happened. Who? Not sure. Have a good idea. Why? Couldn't tell you. Your guess would be as good as mine. Um, it's not like it's an uncommon... It's not like it's an uncommon thing. Um, it's a reoccurring thing in my life. Where little stupid little things get stolen. Never have any... Of these books that I've been carrying around including this one which is the oldest Hold on. the oldest and most has the most like variety of stuff in it all kinds of stuff and it's like one of my most important books because of the content followed by this one then this one and then the green one um, the green one mostly covering national park stuff um, and some of the true crime stuff true crime notes that I have um, But no doubt somebody went through. Because the reason why I say that is I'm pretty confident that that's what happened. Is because, well, if here, let me show you real quick. Move the camera this way. You see my book, right? So I'm really specific about this and how I do this, um, how I carry them, right? So this book always goes in here. Uh, in this book, it's always in this bag, which I'm going to have to change it now probably so that people don't know, uh, seeing as how this is much more critical and important than people realize, some people realize, and then um, carry these around 
in this same bag for this same red print bag for like at least two years at least they're around the time of the pandemic uh i've been carrying these set of books in this bag give or take i'll swap it out with like another small book okay and, my, and this book and all of course the the green books stay in here too still there's there's still room in there right and then so i'm carried i carry this if i'm having if i go somewhere and i stay overnight if i go somewhere where i know i'm doing a lot of talking about this kind of subject matter that i do research with then i take the, the thing i've took it cross county took it all the way across state take it everywhere i go if i'm staying overnight period point blank rules and has for life yes it's chaotic but there is some order in the chaos okay there's a method to my madness you may not understand it that's okay it's not for you okay that being said i've never lost one never misplaced one very specific about when i take one of the notebooks or if i take just some of them out carry them elsewhere For example, when I took the green book out of that bag, which I admit I did take that green book out of that bag for a reason. That was the subject matter that I was going to be discussing specifically that day. So I took it, took the National Forest book, took the dictionary, and took um, this little, this book right here. So this, this, this. This green notebook sat on the bottom because it's a notebook this size, so it sat like this. So I'm very, like I said, I'm very specific about this. Okay, get up the other day, get ready to do a video, go to find my note, go look for my notebook. Now, mind you, in the process of all this, I have had to move. Uh, some of my stuff over to my friend Claudia's house. I've had to move a couple of laundry baskets full of clothes and um, stuff like that over to her house. <clears throat> we'll discuss all of that in another video. That being said, but it is important to make note of all of the shit that I just threw at y'all. If you're in fact interested in keeping up with this particular aspect of M's vlog, uh, which is like the little things that Emma gets neurotic about in her life that people think are seemingly unrelated, but are actually very much related, very fucking much related. That's, that's what this is about. Okay. So the notebook is missing. I'm like, oh, maybe I just set it somewhere and I, I find it here. I mean, it's probably in one of these bags that I had here. I was like, I gotta find those other books though, because the notebook is gonna be wherever these books are. You see what I'm saying? There is a method to my madness. So like, right? Okay, so then I start looking through my stuff, come across this book. I'm like, cool, we're getting somewhere. Takes me a minute, dig through some shit, come across these books. Cool. Where's the notebook? Where's the green notebook? So I started racking my brain like, Emma, did you get paranoid last night? Did you take it and put it in one of those other bags over at Claudia's? Most likely. Something's telling me no, though. Because I think I checked those before I took it over there. So I'm hoping I can make it over there tomorrow and check them. And it'll be there now. I very seriously doubt that it's going to be there because I seriously feel like it was taken from me deliberately because I'm generally the type of person to where when I go to places and I do have things like that with me if I was to leave it behind people immediately call or text me and let me know because they know how important it is. The fact that nobody that I interacted with during that time period that could have possibly 
out of there where I could have possibly left it have contacted me. Leads me to believe that. Yes. It was taken. And what stupid and or nefarious things these people um, or person that took it possibly have in mind. I don't know. I don't really care. Honestly, I really don't. Because I do know this much. You'll do something stupid and you'll out yourself because you'll be prying into my shit and I'll figure it out. Because I am a little bit more tech aware than I used to be. So, it's only a matter of time before you out yourself and then I'm just like, I'll get you back. I'll get my notebook back or I'll get you back. Just remember that. Um, also, especially if it turns out to be the one person I think it might be, I gave you a chance to own it. I, I also gave everybody else who where it could possibly be. A, like a ring, yo. Looking for the notebook. People are like, okay, just, just looking for a notebook, guys. If you took it, you might want to hand it up. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody putting it up. It's because, it, well, my reputation does supersede me, and they know. She's got about that much patience before she's going to freak out. Because we're adults. When somebody confronts you and asks you for their shit back, because you got caught, you know, you took it, and it was like a little bit obvious. But then when they started putting all the puzzle pieces together, give it back. If they come up with the scenario, that is most likely what happened with the notebook on it. Remember, I'm a seer. I don't just conjure shit up in my head. I saw it on yours when you started bullshitting me. So, then I asked you, not once, not twice, three times. Did you, are you sure you don't know? You sure you didn't do anything with it? You sure you didn't get mad when you went up on the park with it and toss it out? You know? That's why I document things. Because, like, I have been learning patience over the years. If there's one thing being with Kim and having children taught me, it's patience, albeit a little bit. It's more than I had before. So there's that. Baby steps. Uh, so I had to go last night. Got me some more notebooks because I was like, I'll just go ahead and go buy another notebook, get started on my notes again. And then maybe my other notebook will turn up. And it still has it. So, true to what it is, it's a green book. So, it's fucking green again. And because when I'm mad or sad, I've had to fucking buy stupid shit I don't need. But when it's clearance and it's a dollar fifty and it's pink, why the fuck not? Said about shit I don't need. Like I need another fucking pack of pens. <laughs> and Rich has been quiet all week. Some dumbass said some stupid shit to me today. Like, oh, sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. It's just um, you're not my type. And I was like. First of all, look back to seeing the last time I interacted with this person who, by the way, I've never met in real life except maybe in passing through mutual friends at parties. We've never spoken directly to one another, hung out alone, together, even together at a party. None of that. This person does not know me. But we've exchanged words through Messenger briefly like about little comments and take it to private and just like chit-chat there. That's it. So... It was funny to me when they said that I wasn't their type, and I was like, what does that even mean? Like, first of all, so you're going to try to label me based on some stupid opinion that somebody else gave you, so you have, like, a, a bias, a prejudgmental bias, um, a pre-biased judgment, 
That's what I'm going to say. Shh. That's what I can do. And, or you, some shit you've heard from somebody that has some stupid agenda push. Or you've misinterpreted something off of my Facebook post. So I would just love to know what you think a type of person I am. I, I mean, I genuinely meant that too. Like, I would love to know if how accurate you are. Because don't nobody know me. My kids know me. People think they know me. They clearly don't know me. Just know you have to, like, pay attention to what I'm saying. You have to, like... There are people in other countries that know me better than my own friends and family here know me. Because sometimes you just be telling people shit they ain't listening. I'm guilty of it too sometimes. Especially if, if you've done that to me a bunch where, like, I've been talking to you and you just... Yeah. Give me some vague generic response all the time like yeah no, 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 no and then when I start doing that back to those people they go you're not even listening to me I'm like yeah I know it's kind of like the same shit you do to me all the time why are you mad what's that saying like Dr. Phil so you teach people how to treat you I don't remember teaching nobody <laughs> like man like I said, my reputation supersedes me. I don't know what the fuck. I, 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 somewhere I slipped. <laughs> and I got caught in, off guard. And just motherfuckers just started bombarding me with shit that I had already said was unacceptable. But it snowballed before I could just do anything about it. Now I'm having to, like, call in reinforcements or something. I don't fucking know. But man, oh, I think, oh yeah, there's definitely a little bit more motive that I'm, that I'm ready to talk about, that I'm willing to talk about as to why that, that notebook was taken. And trust me, when I say there was probably a good reason that it was taken, not for, you know, for me, it's just people are going to try to use it against me, try to get it, use it as a tactic to to get at me, to shut me up, and you know what? That's why we ain't about to have this life. So, like I say, suck my balls. That's what I do know. Suck em. I'm exhausted. Absolutely, 100% exhausted. I'm going to get up and try to do it all over again tomorrow and see if we can't progress a little bit more. Isn't it fun? So, if you can make it till then, till the next video, much love, <laughs> one love, good vibes.